वेलकम टू कंप्लीट सिक्वेल ट्यूटोरियल्स इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द कन्वर्जन फंक्शन व्हाट इज द कन्वर्जन फंक्शन एंड व्हाट इज द मेजर डिफरेंस बिटवीन द कास्ट एंड कन्वर्ट ओके सो लास्ट वीडियो आई ऑलरेडी डिस्कस अबाउट द स्ट्रिंग फंक्शन एंड कंप्लीटली आई डिस्कस द रियल टाइम यूज केसेस एज वेल सो इफ यू डिडेंट गेट अ चांस प्लीज गो एंड वॉच द वीडियो नंबर थर्टी एंड थर्टी वन so before starting this video because this video is very uh, related to the uh, last video so uh, let's jump to the sql server management studio and uh, see what exactly the conversion function have okay so conversion function we have the cast and the convert so uh, basically the uh, when the use of the cast and when we use the convert so why we use the conversion function so uh, sometimes whenever we have the requirement to convert the data type okay like uh, uh, for example uh, suppose i have this dim customer table and uh, we we have the requirement to uh, concatenate two value okay uh, like the last video i discuss uh, we need to concatenate two value like first name and last name so it become uh, the full name okay so uh, the first name and last name both have the character data type uh, but suppose what will be happen if you uh, concatenate with the uh, with the uh, integer data type with the character data type for example suppose if you look up this table dim customer uh, we have the customer key integer data type and the first name is the n where key data type is nothing but the character data type so suppose if you have the requirement to combine the uh, customer key with the first name or customer key with the first name and the last name then what will be happen so suppose if you writing the code like the uh, previous discuss uh, i dis previous video i discuss about the concatenation uh, like suppose if you putting the customer key and uh, plus uh, simply use for concatenate the value and the space for the space we use the single invited comma and i am putting the uh, first name okay so if you put the first name here and uh, if you want to select this value uh, here you need to give the comma separate comma because new column is deriving so when you execute this one uh, you will get some error like conversion failed when converting the n where care data value john to the data type integer so how you can achieve this and the second situation if you by default select the date the format will be uh, year month uh, month and day but suppose the client requested you to uh, print the month in this format okay 12 so in this situation uh, you need to use the convert function so for this converting uh, we have, we we have the cast and we have the convert so let's start with the cast function so uh, just we can use the copy this code and i will show you how we can work with the cast okay so let's put here and uh, so the syntax for the cast function is the you need to use the cast and the value expression is nothing but the column and after that you need to put the age and the data type and whatever data type with length is there and for the convert function uh, you need to first put the data type and then the expression and the style okay so uh, first uh, achieve this requirement by using the cast so just you can use the cast here okay so once you use the cast and the expression is the customer key this is the column name and then you need to put the age okay age and the data type like i am converting this to uh, where care uh, data type so let me put the uh, where care 100 okay and close the bracket so this value got concatenate now if you execute this one you will not get an error because this customer key exactly is converted so uh, let put the uh, space okay so this customer key got uh, converted to the uh, where care so a uh, where care to where care we can concatenate so a uh, where care to integer uh, we cannot can concatenate like for example another example we have like for example i have this uh, one column need to be derived that uh, uh, need to print the message that uh, my name is first name and the last name whatever name is from the table and uh, my yearly income is whatever yearly income is there so if you talk about the yearly income this is the uh, character data type where first name is also character last name is also character data type this is the also character data type but when you talk about the yearly income 
if you look up the table yearly income is the money data type so when you combining to character data type to the money data type so yearly income is the money data type so when you combining this value you will get an error okay you will get an error conversion error again okay so the reason uh, again you need to convert this yearly income uh, to the cost as a wear care as a detail now if you try to execute this code uh, you will get uh, one derived wave column that my name is Ji Jong Ang. So basically, they are pulling the first name from the uh, this uh, first name and last name column and yearly income value is coming from the yearly income because we use the column name in, instead of the hard coding. So each row you will got you will got the unique value. So uh, this is the huge cases of this uh, cast function. So while we using the cast function, uh, we have some type of the restriction is there so we cannot convert character data type to integer so if you want to convert the care to the integer we cannot do it okay and we can convert integer to character or uh, we can convert date time to care or uh, we can convert care to date time if the valid date is there which i already discussed in video number uh, last video date time function when we we have that is the uh, video number uh, 29 and that is the how to check valid date in the SQL. So if you did didn't get a chance, just you can watch the video number 20 to understand the last line. Okay. So now the next one is the convert function. So you can also achieve the requirement. We achieve this one by using the convert. So either you can use the convert or either you can use the uh, cast function. Okay. So convert function, just the syntax will be changed. So first you need to write the data type then the column name and we can do it okay so now if you execute this one the value got converted but we have some major advantage in the convert function so con by using the convert function uh, uh, in the starting video i discussed we can convert to the date time format like for example suppose uh, in the uh, birth uh, in the uh, deem employee table we have the birth date column is the uh, by default year and uh, year and uh, month and uh, day but if you have the some type of the structure, if you have the some format need to be changed, like if you want to display like in this format, so you can use the 113 and this is the format number uh, we have. So you can just go and pause and note down the all the format number. So format number basically they will not ask you in interview. So uh, you can find in online. So like for example, if you want to convert uh, uh, in this format, you can use 114. If you want to convert in the slash uh, format, you can use 111 uh, uh, format number. So you will get that output in this format. Okay. So if the client requested or uh, the interview they requested to change the format number, uh, you can use the convert function as with the format number. So you will get the uh, format is got updated. So uh, we learned that. Uh, the we can use either cast on convert but whenever we have the requirement to change the format number uh, we can use the convert function so uh, i hope you understand the uh, what is the difference between the uh, cast and convert and uh, ne next video i will discuss about the uh, ranking function so uh, thank you for the watching this video